Howdy howdy fellow YouTubers, Mr. Zbunch Numbers here. I got a nice little error update for y'all's viewerships. Um, I got quite a few errors that I've picked up in the last couple weeks. And I've been finding about one every couple of days it seems lately. But um, first one I want to start off with is this cool one. Now it is a unspun, at least a partial unspun. The back is unspun. But this middle, I think, is uh, spun, or at least a partial spun. I'm going to open this at the end of the video just to see if it does come apart. So if you want to stay tuned for that, I'll get to that in a few moments. And then I picked up a regular car, the Decade Series 1990 Chevy Pro Stock Truck. Love this deco style. I'm very happy that Mattel put uh, kind of a traditional drag racer style paint scheme on it. It looks really nice with this setup as opposed to the original neon orange and various other color variations that they put on this this has been the best one and really the only one I've seen that I really really liked and um, finally found one of those at Walmart the other day and then at my Highlander store picked up this El Camino and it wasn't at my Highlander but it was at one of the other Highlanders in the area it's got the PR5 rears and then the front is an open hole spoke five spoke in the front Got, you can see the chrome behind the wheel that's shining through. That was kind of how I caught it. You could see the chrome. Very interesting and kind of a hard to spot error. We actually had been through the uh, little mini bin that was out that had that error in it. So uh, it's kind of interesting that I uh, missed it the first time. And then I uh, found this nitro door slammer missing the windows in an AK dumping that I had also been through previously. So yet another error that I passed up and missed the first time so I don't catch every error the first time that's why even if it's a pick through dump in I always go through it and then on a kind of slim pickings pegs I found the tarmac attack missing the rear chrome trim ring nothing too fancy but a casting that I don't have nonetheless in a new model and then at Walgreens picked up the hammerhead with the all large wheel error kind of looks like it's a small rear wheel but they're the same size it's just the wheel well spacing that kind of throws your uh, senses off but uh, yeah very cool air nonetheless picked up at Walgreens and then in Walmart BK Stumpin not sure if I've shown this before but it's an all small wheels error Corvette ZR1 from the BK mix note the uh, side graphics and the Super has the uh, stinger stripe down the center Kind of like a rally stripe, but um, so yeah, I got the regular, and then on Flea Bay, I picked this up. I'm gonna give you all a couple seconds to kind of just take it in and try to guess what's wrong with my super. Well, if you haven't seen it by now, it's naked, it's missing the side graphics as this one has. It's supposed to have the graphics on the side, but it does not. I picked this up for $19.99, buy it now. I cannot imagine what this thing would have cost um, if it was in an auction style listing. I saw an all large wheel error of this car go for $106. And an all small wheels version go for like 40 something. So the errors on this are pretty extreme and I have to say that this has got to be one of the, I'm not even going to say one of the, this is the best error that I have. No side tampos, the nice single solid white stripe down the center looks very much clean. A lot cleaner than the uh, other supers with the side graphics. A lot less traffic. Oh man, that's nice. So anyways, I'm going to stop blabbing on that one, but uh... I'm sure a lot of you folks are going to like this one, so uh, feel free to comment and let me know what you think. And then I also picked up on Flea Bay, regular Corvette Treasure Hunt, Super Treasure Hunt Tucker Torpedo, and a Super Treasure Hunt Chrysler 300Z, or 300C I mean, for 20 bucks. So 10 bucks a piece basically, and then having the free regular Treasure Hunt thrown on at the end. So another good deal on Flea Bay. And all right let's get to this unspun let's see if we got a complete unspun or a partial unspun oh yeah check that out 
I can't believe I just did that. I didn't think this thing was going to come apart. But it did. <laughs> That's crazy. I really was not expecting that, but uh, I guess it was unspun after all. Completely unspun. So there you go, folks. I just ripped open an unspun error right in front of you. I didn't really think that was going to happen, but uh, I guess it is unspun. And as you can see, the rivet's nice and clean on the back. And this is actually a two-piece interior. I really did not think that was the case, but uh, it is. That was definitely a surprise. I won't lie. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed another unspun unboxing. Pretty cool. Anyways, peace until my next update. Ah, flying monkey.